Welcome to Ralph Allen School. My name is Andy Greenough and I'm the head teacher of this most amazing school. Just before we begin, there is a section on your screen where there's a Q&A, so you can either type some questions in and someone will answer them tonight, or we'll collate all the questions, answer them, and put them on our website for later. Okay, so in this very strange world, you would normally, in previous, be sat in the hall and you would all be listening to this live uh, performance. But obviously things are a little bit different. The good news is that from September, we're all gonna be back in schools. And on the first day, it is just year sevens and year twelves. And that's a lovely time for you in your own space to get to know the school. Tonight, you're gonna to hear from some teachers and from students, and they're gonna give you their representation of what this school is like. In previous years, the year six have always said that they really like listening to the year sevens and they make them feel at ease. And they are honestly gonna talk about how they think the school is and give you a little bit of advice as well. Our ethos and our values of respect, teamwork and personal best are gonna be lived through all your teachers in every day that you're in school. And our job is to work with you over the next five to seven years and try and make you a little bit better. Not try and make you into someone else, actually recognize you and your individuality and try and improve where you are and support and encourage you along that journey. Now we're looking very forward to, do, forward to doing that. But tonight, first of all, you're gonna hear from our head of transition, the one, the only, Mr. Forrester. Good luck, can't wait to see you in September. Thank you, Mr. Greenoff. Good evening. My name is Mr. Forrester. I'm a science teacher here at Ralph Allen. I'm also head of Phoenix House, one of the four houses at the school. And I also lead the school's year six transition work. It's been an interesting couple of years. Although unlike last year, the year six students are finishing primary school in person and in the building, the disruption they have experienced over the course of their year five and year six has been significant. Students will likely have missed out on some of the exciting events that are a staple diet of year sixes across the country, such as residential visits and summer end of year celebrations. It is our job to make sure that the handover from primary to secondary is as smooth as possible and that the restrictions placed upon us at the moment do not have a negative impact on this important step. We have taken this task very seriously and while transition may still look a little different this year, it will be no less successful. We believe it is important to get to know our new students as much as possible before sorting them into the learning groups that they will be in for their lessons. This is to ensure a good mix of students across the eight groups that will make up year seven at Ralph Allen. I'm really pleased that this year we've been able to visit the vast majority of our prospective students in their primary schools and start this process. We have spoken to their year six teachers and the students themselves to find out about what they enjoy, what they are good at and who they are friends with. It also gives them the chance to ask questions about life at Ralph Allen and discuss what they're nervous about and also what they're looking forward to as well. Students arrive at Ralph Allen from a wide range of primary schools. Some will find the majority of their year six, six class with them here and some will arrive knowing no one at all. However, regardless of this, the part of starting secondary school that students find both most daunting and most exciting is making new friends and learning to work with new people. With transition day in July having to be canceled again this year due to, due to the restrictions on students mixing, we're aware that this process could be more challenging for our students. However, as I've said to all the students during my visits, we will be running transfer day and all the fun activities that would usually happen on this day on their first day in September. The two added bonuses of doing it this way is that they will be in their shiny new Ralph Allen uniform and they will have the whole school almost to themselves, as Mr. Greenoff has already mentioned, as it's only year seven and 12 in on that first day. The year seven residential is usually a cornerstone of the first term at Ralph Allen. We've already made the decision to move this event to the summer term 2022 as an end of year celebration for the students. In September, we'll be running an evening of activities for all year seven students at Ralph Allen, where they will to take part in team building activities and games. This is something we started last year and our current year seven students really enjoyed it. 
Mr Greenoff represent, referenced our three school values, and I would like to spend a minute focusing on just one of those values, teamwork. Teams are successful when every member makes sure they are doing their bit to achieve success. At Ralph Allen, we believe the word team stands for together, everyone achieves more, an idea that is at the centre of how we work as a school. The four houses at Ralph Allen are an integral to how we work as a school and for both staff and students, the house you are in is an important part of your identity at Ralph Allen. We encourage competition between the houses and we hope and expect that all of our students will contribute to their house team in a positive way. They will certainly have plenty of opportunities to do so. I would like to take this opportunity to mention a few important members of staff who will be working with your son or daughter. The four heads of house you'll meet in a few minutes um, and there are also an assistant head of house for every house. Mrs Todd, head of inclusion, and Mrs Bessel and Miss Honeyman, our student services team, are also important members. The person the students will have the most contact with and therefore in many ways the most important part of this team is their tutor who they will see every morning. Just to clarify, your tutor's name is not actually Mr E. Students haven't met their tutor yet. They don't know who their tutor is yet. Hence the Mr E, Mr E. Yeah, yeah. I'll pause for laugh there. As far as we are concerned, the transition process is very much an ongoing one and certainly doesn't stop the minute they walk in through the door in September. Going from being the big fish in a small pond to being one of the smaller fish in a much bigger pond is understandably daunting and we will continue to work with the students throughout year seven and beyond to ensure they settle well. I think it's fair to say that someone's teenage years are often not plain sailing, and I can't promise there won't be bumps in the road over the next five years. What I will say is that we have the team in place to offer the support our students need. The school, you as parents, and the student themselves are ultimately the three members of the team whose job it is to ensure each and every student enjoys a successful time at Ralph Allen. We look forward to working with all of you to achieve this goal. Thank you very much for listening. I'm now going to introduce you to somebody. This is our Griffin, our proud Griffin. Uh, it's this sort of emblem of the school. It's on the school badge. Um, and this little fella is going to take you through the rest of the evening. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy. Thank you, Mr Forrester. Hi, my name's Miss Hunt. I'm one of the four heads of house here. Um, we're really looking forward to welcoming you when you come up to Ralph Allen next year um, and hope that you have a fantastic time with us. Thanks, Miss Hunt. I'm Mrs Reynolds, one of the other heads of house here at Ralph Allen. Really looking forward to working with you in September. Hope you have a great summer. Thank you, Mrs. Reynolds. Good evening, everyone. My name is Mr. Handley. I'm uh, one of the assistant head teachers here at Ralph Allen School. I'm also one of the our PE teacher as well. So we're just going to invite two of my uh, servants, Olivia and uh, Theo, who are going to join us, join me to talk through about what life is like at Ralph Allen, particularly with PE and sport and extracurricular, because it's an important part of Ralph Allen School, important part of our DNA. So, Olivia, I can see you are nicely kitted out. What do, we, what do the new students need to wear for PE at Ralph Allen? You will need to bring a top with your house logo on it. You'll need to bring a skirt or a pair of shorts. Uh, you can bring uh, some socks. You can, and if the weather turns cold, you can bring a pair of black leggings and a Ralph Allen fleece. And for certain sports, you will need a gun shield, football boots and shin pads. And if you have long hair, a hairband to tie your hair back. And Theo, I can see you kitted out. What else do we need to bring for PE at Ralph Allen School? So as well as the top, shorts and skirt that Olivia's already mentioned, you'll also need a rugby top for when you're doing rugby. It's just a long sleeve PE top and it's water for when you're doing tough stuff and you would like to take a drink. So Olivia, what have you been doing in PE so far this year? I have done netball, hockey, football, rugby, gymnastics and dance and I've done lots of dodgeball which is so much fun. And same question to you Theo, what have you been doing in PE this year? 
Obviously, we didn't get to do all of the subjects that we would have normally done as our year was cut short. But in the time we had, we had done football, netball, rugby um, and gymnastics, and dance and physical exercises in indoor PE. Olivia, what extracurricular clubs have you been involved with and what have you gained from those extracurricular clubs? I have done hockey and netball, both with a lovely Miss Brown. I've done badminton, which you've got to try. The great thing about after school clubs is you get to mix with new people you wouldn't normally meet with, try new techniques and most of all have a lot of fun. I already I have lots of great memories at Sport at Ralph Arm and I hope to meet you all very soon. And Theo, to you, what extracurricular clubs have you been involved with and what have you gained from those? The clubs I've participated in are like football, netball, table tennis and snooker. And also I've participated in a jazz band, which is a great example of a club that isn't a sporting club, as I think you can pretty much do anything in an after school club. For example, there's even a puzzle making club where you get to do puzzles for an hour. So, yeah. And I think clubs have really helped me feel part of the school as I've met loads of people, been part of a like Ralph Allen team, have represented my school and it's just made me feel part of the school. Thank you, you two. You've done an amazing job giving us an insight into PE. And that's an important part of your sevens when you come to Ralph Allen, is that you get, you get, it, you, you get in what you put out. And whatever you put in, at Ralph Allen, you will get a lot out. So get yourself involved in all the extracurricular stuff, not just PE, all the other activities here, and you'll do really, really well. Now I'm going to hand you back to Mr. Greenoff. Hi, my name is Mr. Tennant, and I'm one of the heads of house at Ralph Allen School. Now today I've got Sophia and Reese with me, and I'm going to ask them some questions about what their first year has been like at Ralph Allen School. Now, hopefully that will give you some insight as to what it's like when you join us next year. Okay, first question is for Sophia. Sophia, before you, before you joined Ralph Allen School, well, did you have any worries or concerns? Um, I was mainly excited to join the school, but mostly getting lost around the school because I came from a very small primary school and Ralph Allen is very big, so it was quite intimidating. But on the first day, they did give us maps and a tour, so that helped. Okay, Reese, same question. Were you worried about anything before joining Ralph Allen? Well, my main worries was probably making friends as, and um, getting lost around school because I, I was worried about it, very worried. Um, and they gave us maps to help us, and we also got a tour around the school, and that helped. Okay, Sophia, next question. Residential wasn't exactly the same as how we'd normally do it, but it still did happen, and that's the plan for next year. What was so good about the residential? Um, I loved all the team building activities and um, meeting new people, making new friends. And Reese, same question. Residential might not have been exactly the same, but it was still great fun. What did you enjoy about it? I really enjoyed doing the other team building exercises and having hot chocolate. I also enjoyed the wide game. It's a very fun game in a pitch black darkness and they put no lights around the school and you have to try and get from the top part of the school to the bottom part of the school down there. And it was very hard. There was lots of teachers scaring us annoyingly. But yeah, that was very good fun. All right, my favorite question. Okay, Reese, you're first this time. Reese, what are your favorite subjects and why? Well, my first favorite subject would be Spanish, as I've been to Spain a lot, but I've never learned to speak the language. So that's helped um, when I go, if I go back there, due to the pandemic, um, to speak the language. Another one of my favourite subjects would be PE. I love sport and one of my favourite sports is rugby, which they teach here. Um, and there's lots of good sports clubs to do and you make lots of new friends and see new teachers as well. Brilliant. And Sophia, what are your favourite subjects at Ralph Allen and why? I have three 
three favourite subjects. Um, my first one's PE because it's outdoors and it's really fun. DT is creative. Um, I really liked making the key rings in woodwork. Um, and also science because I like all the fun practicals. Okay, and last question, going with Reese first again. So Reese, if you had to give one top tip to a year seven student who would be new at Ralph Allen next year, what would it be? Well, I'd say to try everything because there's loads of good clubs in Ralph Allen, especially Lego Robotics. It's a very enjoyable club and fun. All the sports clubs are good as well and they help you to team, teamwork with others and to make new friends whilst you're playing. And Sophia, same question. If you could give one top tip to new students, what would it be? My top tip would be to be kind to everybody and make others feel included because that's how you make friends. Um, and also try hard um, in lessons, participate in lessons because, um, well, that's why you're here. Okay, thank you very much, Reese. Thank you, Sophia, for your answers. And now back to Mr. Greenhoff. Thank you to all our speakers, particularly our students who were fantastic. I hope you enjoyed the evening. If you've got any questions, there's still time to put in the Q&A and we'll put on our website or on the letters we sent out, there are some contact details if you've got any questions that you want to ask further. Hope you enjoyed the evening. See you all in September. Bye-bye.